Bays and Banshees, I'm back. And today I asked on my Instagram, like, hey, drop some questions for a QA video. But then I got this question that I really liked and I decided to make a video on it. So here we are. The question was, what made you realize you like alternative fashion, music, things like that? And to answer this question, ever since I was really young, things inspired me like Monster High. That was like my all-time all, all time favorite thing ever was Monster High. Like it was like my special interest for many years. So Monster High. And then when I hopped onto YouTube, when I was about six probably, I started watching YouTube. Uh, YouTubers like Rosemary Annette, who, who is now um, People of Consciousness. She was one of my biggest inspirations, and if I think harder on some more YouTubers that I used to watch, Nikan, um, it's hard, um, Jude Bishop, she was also a big inspiration to me, because I loved Rosie and Jude so much, they were like my idols, I loved watching them, but like, Monster High, I used to idolize the characters. I would like dress up trying to look like them. Like I would I would watch it like every day over and over and over. And for like well, and when I like realized I could actually dress like them, like this was an option. I could have my own unique style. This was like mind blowing to little me. It was like not even an option, like I had to. <laughs> Um, and for music, I started getting into Melanie Martinez when I was like seven, really early. So I listened to Melanie f from like seven to 13. And then, uh, when I was like 11, I started listening to metal. I discovered Maximize Bestiality, um, Skinless, and... Mayhem and Cannibal Corpse were like my first bands. Those were my first bands. I also did listen to Mindless Self Indulgence when I was 10. Embarrassing, but I also really, really loved My Chemical Romance at that time. And I was emo slash emo scene, semo for a very long time. But like cute kawaii fashion has been my thing since I was like born, since I could dress myself. I do have a lot of gothic pieces as well, like black, meshy black, flowy, lacy, but like pink will always be my favorite, I guess. And, um, okay, mom's ringtone, pop off. And YouTubers, like, um, <laughs> what was this guy's name? This These scene YouTubers and emo YouTubers are like, MBE, like my digital escape. I loved them so much. Um, Ali Shadow Lady had a great impact on me. Um, so there's a lot of YouTubers. But for music, mainly like, I would say Melanie influenced me a lot. I know she has controversy now, but I am not like educated on any of that. So like her aesthetic, like really I like that and Jasmine Bean I love her aesthetic I don't really listen to any of her music but like she's so aesthetically pleasing to me and then for music like metal I just listened to it and I was like damn I love this like it goes hard like I'm gonna make this my whole personality like it's amazing and like ever since I was really little I wanted piercings and tattoos and all of that and I've been experiment experimenting with makeup for a very long time as well. Since I was about like 11, I would do like eyeliner and corpse paint even. Because that's when I was like getting into mayhem and the black metal, like elite, elitism stuff. <laughs> um, but honestly, this has led me to feel more comfortable in myself. Feels happy it makes me feel happy to be myself it makes me feel unique i'm comfortable and i wouldn't choose to have it any other way um i'm trying to think what else has inspired me a sanrio i would actually say i love the 
cutesiness so I wear a lot of clothing that has like Sanrio on it like t-shirts and stuff like that so I would say I'm inspired by kids shows and cartoons because I have a lot of merchandise if that makes sense and yeah um that's pretty much it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching love you guys so much have an amazing day bye bye